Hey guys, Kenny here. I'm here to review the comedy drama of Crazy Stupid Love. Now, I really did enjoy this. I really uh, identified with every character in this movie, even the female characters. I love this so much. It basically has to do with this couple. Uh, a cow weaver and his wife uh, played by Julianne Moore and she's not really happy with him anymore so she up and toes him one night while they're having dinner a pretty nice time right before they're about to order their uh, dinner she says she wants a divorce and that she's having an affair with a co-worker of, her, of hers at where she works at and Emily Weaver and the person she's having the affair with is David Lindhagen and it's funny because his name keeps being uh, mispronounced quite a few times in this movie Lindhagen I think it is Hog so it's Lindhagen played by Kevin Bacon and Kyle Weaver is played by Steve Carell and Emily wants to get, get a divorce from Cal because she's having an affair. So that really puts Cal in a really heavy tailspin and makes him put go into a deep depression. He moves out into his own place and he starts going to this bar, kind of sulking in his sadness and he sees this guy Jacob Palmer played by Ryan Gosling and he sees that Jake is really good at getting, getting women talking to them and then taking them home and Cal wants L Jake uh, Jacob decides to help help out Cal and then he makes Cal a ladies man and Jake is also he ends up seeing this girl Hannah played by Emma Stone and it's one time and then she keeps she has she still ends up think she's still been thinking about him as the movie goes on which is really nice because uh, it's not really brought up again until somewhere like mm, the last part of the movie but it was very well done how that storyline was played out and uh, Emily and David Lenhagen, or David, they have a pretty funny little plot in this too. I really liked how that was how that was written out. And Cal and, and Emily's son Robbie, he's he's kind of like this boy who he's in the love with this one girl. Uh, Jessica, I think that's who I think that's who it is, and because of him being in love with her, he is able to like to emote all this wisdom and and knowledge to Cal, and that lets that helps Cal be more um, sure of himself and more. Uh, believe in himself more he has, he has more courage and that helps Cal uh, get uh, get the courage to try and get back with Emily that's basically what that's about and hmm. oh and there's this and we see in the trailer that there's this girl that Cal takes home uh, Nick Kate played by Marissa Tomei and there's a that comes back to bite him in a big way uh, somewhere like in the middle of the movie and I really loved how that was written that was <laughs> that that loose end came together very well and Kate uh, starts mm, she did. There's a interesting plot about her too. 
I'm not going to say what that is. And... Oh, Ber there's this guy, Bernie, played by John Carroll Lynch, and he's the father of Madison, played by Juliana Quill. <laughs> Bernie, he's, he's funny in this, and he has a pretty, that family has a pretty interesting past with the Weaver family. So I'm not going to say what that is. I just see the movie for that. I really liked how that was written. So that's basically what Crazy Stupid Love is about. It's about all these separate storylines that meet up together at the very end. And it's beautifully written how they all come together. And, and some of them are really unexpected. I didn't expect some of them when I first saw this so I'm really looking forward to seeing this again like much okay all the performances in this were top-notch by everyone in the cast like Steve Carell Ryan Gosling Julianne Moore Emma Stone Marissa Tomei Kevin Bacon even the even the boy Robbie Weaver, Jonah Bobo. He was very, very good in this. Um, let's see. The, this is more of like a comedy and a drama. Not really romantic comedy. I agree with uh, certain uh, reviewers who review this. They, one of them said it's not a rom-com. I agree. There is much more to this story than it being stri a straight romantic comedy, in my opinion. And the the montage we see it in the trailer. There uh, there's a great montage of uh, Jake uh, helping out Cal, trying to find out, trying to find the right outfits and get a haircut, and. There's a running gag through that montage where Jake keeps slapping it, slapping Cal, and that has a very funny uh, way of coming back to Jacob at the very end. <laughs> Not gonna say what that is. So that's. Um, I can't really say if there was anything I didn't like about this. I loved everything about it, literally, and it sh really shows you how what that people can do crazy things to be in love and also stupid things to stay in love that's basically what this story is about and I've related to everything that was going on in this um, and I agree that if you don't um, if you don't relate to uh, at least one of the storylines in this you try and go out and be in a relationship with a, a girl or a man then you uh, then go back and see this thing you might understand what's uh, going on and you'll really understand what what it's all about so crazy stupid love this is really one of my favorite comedies of this year and it's not one of those screwball comedies. There are some moments like that. Not much. But it's... Um, what am I saying? The, it's a touching comedy. And and the comedy in that's in this works all the way through, in my opinion. And it makes sense. The comedy that's in this... It drew me into the story more. It didn't pull me out. And the good thing was in this comedy, like a lot in a lot of comedies now, there's like really gratuitous jokes, like fart jokes or um, jokes about a body part. There wasn't any of those kind of gross uh, jokes in this. I think if there were, if there were. At least one of those in this, it would have fall 
fell flat immediately. Everything in this was top notch comedy wise and the drama was also uh, very well done. I felt like the drama that's in this uh, I related more to the drama than I did the comedy but the comedy also made it more light hearted and you felt uh, more engaged with all the characters when the when a comedy moment came up and that was really what I enjoyed about Crazy Stupid Love so much. It has all these storylines and characters that it's odd because all the characters in this I you feel at least I felt connected to every one of them emotionally and all the storylines that and that they were involved in really touched me and and I think it would touch other people on a deep emotional level this movie is pretty it's not incredibly deep I would say but it is um, it does try and it does have a message of trying to fight not stay for in a relationship and keep sticking with it and if you love someone you should keep staying with that person no matter what even if they're even through good or bad even if you're divorced you still may have feelings for a person and you still might want to uh, stay keep trying to pursue that person there's a lot of I like there's a moment in the trailer that I really liked seeing in this movie it's at the end when Julie Julianne Moore Emily and Emily Weaver and Steve Carell Kyle Weaver when they're kind of looking at each other and then she uh, and they both laugh at each other it's at the near the very end so that was a very nice moment so I would really give this a, I give this a I give it a, a incredibly high rating I would give this maybe five out of five stars I love this so much five out of five definitely so I think that's all I have to say on crazy stupid love so <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is dry. Stay cool and relax in the movies.